Hey guys, I'm going to attempt my first smoked pork belly and uh, make bacon. Um, the ingredient is pretty simple. What you saw there was a third cup of kosher salt. On top of that, we also need three tablespoons of freshly ground black pepper or cracked black peppercorn. The whole purpose of this curing method is to pull as much moisture as you can from inside that pork belly. This process can range from five days to 10 days, maybe more, maybe less. It just all depends on how big your pork belly is and how much moisture you need to pull out of it. I roughly am going to take about seven days to do this. Um, again, just to get all that moisture out, every day I'll come out and, and flip that pork belly over inside the fridge. What you see there is my coffee grinder. I was doing it by hand earlier and that just took too much time in my opinion. So I had a coffee grinder and well, why not use it? Again, this calls for three tablespoons of uh, cracked black pepper or black peppercorn. You also need some curing salt. Uh, this package here that I picked up at the butcher calls for three and a half grams for every kilogram of meat. I have about four pounds of pork belly which equivalents to about two kilograms so I'm going to use seven grams of this curing salt. You don't want to put too much in there uh, else it'll turn the meat really pink. And you need some sort of sweetener to uh, level set some of that saltiness. You can use what I had shown there was maple syrup which is 100%. You can use third cup of brown sugar. Uh, granulated sugar so any kind of sweetener so that was a third cup of maple syrup that I used again I just had some gloves in the kitchen and I threw it on to help mix the uh, ingredients together before I rub it on top of the pork belly so again just rub it all over the pork belly as, as best as you can I don't know if this process needs to be as thorough but uh, just rub it on again and you notice that I don't have the skin on I had my butcher cut the skin off but uh, rub the mixture all over then you'll throw it into a Ziploc bag. What you don't get, I'm sure, you know, it, it'll spread itself out. I wrote the date on the Ziploc bag. So, one, it tells me which side I started off on. Um, again, it's seven days, so I don't lose track. And this guy, he needs to get up and help. Anyways, I'm putting this in the refrigerator in our garage. So, again, every morning I'll wake up, same time, and flip it on the other side. Forgot my baking sheet. The last thing I want to do is make a mess in the fridge and have to clean it up later. So that's it. I don't know. Like I said, it looks pretty simple to me. This is my first attempt. I'm going to go ahead and see what happens. If it works, great. If not, you know, no harm done. At least I can say I tried it. Anyways, there will be a second video that I show uh, when I take it out and put it into my Weber Smoker Mountain. Okay, thanks.